Welcome to the Brooklyn Hospital Prenatal Education, Weeks 1 through 12, First Trimester. Congratulations, you're going to have a baby. Many things are going to change in the counting months, and you're probably feeling many different emotions, which is normal. You will also experience changes in your body, and we are here to guide you and answer any questions you have. Prenatal Appointments it is very important that you come to every scheduled prenatal appointment to ensure that you and your baby are healthy and well taken care of. Your first prenatal visit will be longer than the rest. We want to provide you with important information, perform an educational and health assessment, and complete the required blood test. Please be sure to have eaten and perhaps bring a snack. Before leaving your appointment, Make sure you schedule your follow-up appointments at either of the front desks. Our registration staff will be happy to assist you. There, you can also schedule for any referrals your provider puts in for you, such as sonograms, endocrinology, cardiology, etc. Changes in the first trimester. Nausea and vomiting, also known as morning sickness. It is caused by an elevation in hormones during pregnancy. Certain smells and foods may also make you feel nauseous. Breast changes. Your breasts may feel bigger and sore. As you progress in the pregnancy, your areolas may get darker as well. Tiredness and fatigue. You may feel more tired. Your body is adjusting to the coming physical changes, so try and get as much rest as you can. Heartburn. The muscles, the muscles that help break down food are more relaxed during pregnancy. Frequent urination. As your uterus grows and pushes on your bladder, you will have to urinate more frequently. Vaginal discharge. You may see an increase in discharge that will look thin and white. Emotional changes. Hormones play a huge part in your emotions. You may be moody forgetful, which many people call baby brain, and or be unable to focus. You may not see a difference in your waistline yet, but it will expand as you progress. Skin changes. Your skin may look more rosy and shiny, also known as a pregnancy glow, which is caused by increased blood circulation. So what's going on inside? In the first trimester, the baby will grow to be about three inches in length and one ounce in weight. The heartbeat is heard at six weeks. The circulatory system is developing and all other organs are forming. By the end of the second month, eight weeks, all major organs and body systems have developed. By the third month, 12 weeks, arms and legs start to form, fingers and toes start growing, and facial features become more obvious. Staying healthy. Your provider will prescribe you prenatal vitamins and or folic acid. Make sure you take these pills as they are essential for your baby's development. Avoid alcohol, smoking, vaping, and illicit drugs as these are all dangerous to your baby. Ask your provider before taking any over-the-counter medicine. Avoid ibuprofen. Take Tylenol instead. Ensure that you are drinking plenty of water about 10 8-ounce glasses of water per day. Eat healthy. Increase fruits and vegetables and calcium into your diet. High-fiber foods help prevent constipation. Ask your provider for a referral to your dentist. Dental hygiene is very important during pregnancy.
Wear a mask when you're outside of your home. Frequently wash your hands with soap and water, and if soap and water is not available, use hand sanitizer. Practice social distancing, avoid crowded areas, and stay six feet apart. Avoid foods and products that contain mercury. Always wear a seatbelt when you are in a car. Wear the lap belt under your stomach. Ask your provider about getting the flu vaccine during the flu season. This vaccine protects you and your fetus from the sometimes devastating effects of the flu. Your body is operating differently during pregnancy, and you are more, more vulnerable to the effects the flu can bring. Having the vaccine also protects baby during the first six months of life. Also ask your provider about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So how much weight should I gain? Weight gain depends on your pre-pregnancy BMI, body mass index. Your BMI is calculated by your weight and height. The chart below serves as a guide. Please make sure to follow what your provider recommends. Prenatal testing. You will have several tests done throughout your pregnancy. As stated earlier, at your initial prenatal appointment, blood will be drawn. These blood tests are for chromosomal abnormalities, carrier disorders such as abnormal genes, HIV, iron levels, blood type and RH status, STIs, hepatitis, tuberculosis, etc. A pap smear and pelvic exam may also be performed. Later in the pregnancy, you will do a glucose tolerance test and group B strep testing. These will be explained later. COVID-19 testing is done upon admission to labor and delivery. Sonograms. Your sonograms will be done here at the Brooklyn Hospital down the hall from the Women's Health Center at the Perinatal Diagnostic Center. Your first sonogram will be scheduled after you see your provider, and this sonogram is usually called dating and viability. It will tell us how far along you are and if the pregnancy is viable, that there is a heartbeat and that the pregnancy is in your uterus. The next sonogram will be done between 11 and 13 weeks. This sonogram is very important. It is called a nuchal translucency. You will also have blood taken for the first part of the, of the sequential screening, which is for genetic testing. And this blood will be done at the sonogram department. The following sonogram is the level two, also known as the anatomy scan. This sonogram is the longest and lasts about 45 minutes. It is done when you are between 18 and 22 weeks. The anatomy scan looks at the anatomy of your baby, the brain, spine, organs, and sex. At this sonogram, you will be able to see if you are having a boy or a girl. If you do not want to know, please let the sonographer know ahead of time. If anything is abnormal, your provider will discuss the results with you. Unless there is an indication, such as diabetes, baby is too large or too small, you may not have another sonogram. If your provider believes you need another one, it is usually done at 32 weeks for growth to ensure that baby is growing normally. Warning signs, bleeding, 
there may be many reasons why you see bleeding early in pregnancy. So it is important to get evaluated if you have any vaginal bleeding. Severe nausea and vomiting. Morning sickness is not uncommon, but if you are unable to tolerate any foods or water, it is important that you get evaluated. Severe pain in your abdomen or radiating pain to your shoulder. Coughing or vomiting blood. Difficulty seeing or seeing spots. Fever more than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Any gush or steady leak of fluid from the vagina and constant shortness of breath. If you are under 13 weeks and have any warning signs, go to your nearest emergency department or come to the Brooklyn Hospital Emergency Department. If you are over 13 weeks, you can go to labor and delivery triage, 3M. Breastfeeding. From the moment you become pregnant, your body begins preparing for breastfeeding. It is important to think about whether or not you want to breastfeed from now. Our nurses here at the Women's Health Center can help educate you along with our certified lactation consultant who works on our labor and delivery and postpartum units. If you are interested in doing a class with a lactation consultant or one of our nurses, please let us know. Were COVID-19 safe? Our hospital and staff work diligently to keep everyone COVID-19 safe by ensuring all hospital surfaces, including chairs, beds, and stretchers, are cleaned after each patient use. We have increased our hand sanitizing stations by more than double and utilize hand hygiene ambassadors to ensure we are all safe. For more information, follow the link below. To receive text message updates about how to keep you and your baby healthy, please go to the website below, www.textforbaby.org. Thank you.